Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Steph's Plant Life. If this is your first time here, welcome! If this is your second or third time, I am super grateful that you decided to stop by again. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and share. Who knows, maybe somebody else might like it. Today, I'm tackling my little uh, work nook. As you can see, it's pretty messy. I decided to do this Friday night after working all day. And you'll probably notice that the lighting is a little funky. Um, recently, I found out about Wally Grow wall planters from someone in my Instagram community. I really got excited about these planters because they're made from recycled milk jugs and they're just going to increase my plant space. Each planter comes with a screw, wall anchor, and an on and off wall bracket. According to the directions, if you're going to be drilling your Wally Grow to a drywall, it's necessary to make a hole for the anchor by pre-drilling with a quarter inch drill bit. Once the anchor is in, I wound up tapping it just so it, it is flush against the wall with my Dollar Tree rubber mallet. Um, next, the screw goes through the wall bracket into the anchor. Once that was done, I just double checked to see how sturdy it was before I started putting in my plants. Now onto the other side. The drill bit was a little low on energy, but I got through it. Um, I wound up putting in the wall anchor, tapped it in so it was flush, and then I screwed in the on and off wall mount. Now it's time for the plants. I just started with a philodendron Brazil. I'd moved this plant around three times so far this year. I've got my fingers crossed that it does okay. I'm just going to be keeping it in this place. Um, along with the Wally Grow planters, I purchased the soil that it came with. Um, so with um, the soil is, I thought it was really small, but then what I realized that it is expandable. So for the size Wally Grow planter I have, um, I need three and a half cups of soil for five cups of water. So as you pour the water and aerate the soil, it begins to expand to about four or five times the amount you started with. Once I was done thoroughly um, mixing the soil and the water, making sure that everything had become damp, um, it wasn't until then that I put it in my planter. So here I'm sliding in the water channel. It is through that channel that you're going to be able to water the unit going forward. And also I'm just putting in the soil. You'll notice in a little while that I wind up putting a layer of the soil that the plant was already in. So I put one layer of the Wally Grow soil and then um, a couple of layers of the soil that the plant came in in order for it not to be totally shocked.
I noticed a little bit of dirt got into the reservoir and with a damp cloth, I just kind of cleaned it out. And now it's time to do the golden pothos. Um, this plant is gonna go on the left-hand side. The funny thing about this one, it is a bit root-bound. It's a little tough getting out, as you can see. Um, but basically, it's the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and take it out um, and put the soil in. First, I gotta put in that uh, watering channel. So that goes in and then put some soil in, loosen up the dirt for the for this uh, pothos so we can continue to grow a little bit more and kind of spread out. I had a little bit more room in the planter, so I brought in this old pothos. Um, I didn't want, I have two pieces. I've had it, I know, for over a year, I want to say, and it's kind of been hanging out in the water. I think it's been hanging out in the water since March of 2020. Um, so I'm kind of popping one of those pieces in there. I didn't dare put two because I think it's going to be a little crowded, um, too crowded, especially with that other plant because um, it needs to get going and I'm hoping this one does well too. So pretty much this is it. I'm about to put the second planter up on the wall. Overall, I found this experience to be very simple. Um, please let me know if you've used these and how you like them. I'm looking forward to using others. They have different shapes and I might use some of them. And then I also have two because there were four in the pack that I purchased. So I'll be putting them someplace. My final touch for this project was this lovely mirror that I got from HomeSense. It's completely metal. I have some ideas that perhaps some of the um, foliage will kind of cascade upon that mirror and I think it would look super nice. Um, but overall, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please, if you liked it, like, subscribe, share, and thanks so much for stopping by. Have a good one. Bye.